Dennis Lindsay is an expert in the long-term physical development of junior and pro tennis players and one of the leading sources of guidance for tennis coaches in Canada. Does the fitness for the top athletes have to be modeled um, according to the match challenges or uh, their tennis training? Or is it recommended that they do a more general and complex um, development of, of the muscular system? Well, it varies on the time of the year. When athletes have downtime, you're going to uh, very general with a mixture of compound type exercises, sort of complex. The idea is to make sure that it's, it's this massive base of building. But then when they're traveling and they're on the road, it has to be very specific to their style of play, to their needs during play, to uh, the fact that they have a plan A, plan B, and plan C sometimes. A lot of tournament play, athletes will arrive on a Monday. If for some reason they draw, um, they draw a, a short match or something like that and they end up being out of the tournament by Tuesday, then they are getting ready to travel to another tournament. So fitting their fitness in around those changes of schedules is very critical. So we have to have a hard day, a medium day, an easy day. You have to have structured days that allow them to train during travel. Um, it's a mixture of all those balancing acts. So programs for when they're traveling and when they're actually competing is probably a lot more difficult to design and to do than programs for when they're at home and they have that solid time, one and a half hours, two hours, to be able to work specifically on what they want. Do you recommend to stop um, a regular session, a regular fitness session before, before a match? And, and if you do, how soon before the match? Well, I think it depends on the match. Um, the most important thing is coaches have to communicate properly to the athletes and coaches have to communicate properly to each other. A fitness coach is a supplemental coach and tennis coach is the director. So if the match is considered to be a very important match, then yes, you should taper down and stop your fitness training. So you give them a little bit of rest, a little bit of extra recovery. At that point in time, while you're, while you're diminishing their training in the weight room, um, the tennis coach should be ramping up their specific intensity on the tennis court, specific small drills, specific learning habits, specific things they want them to bring to that one set of match play in the next two days. Um, and then after they get through that, you start your new phase and the coach hopefully gives you no, more directions on the next tournament, when it's going to occur and what we're trying to work on. But fitness has to be directed by the, by the head coach first.